Hi, Dawn Stein's Lamenti. This time of year, there's nothing better than cozying up to a warm, beautiful fireplace. But before you light up the fire, there are a few important facts consumers need to know. And experts say all firewood is not created equal. A glowing, crackling fire may be mesmerizing for millions of Americans. It's also money saving. Oh, this time of year, it just seems like it's so nice and cozy with a nice warm fire. And we always try to have a fireplace going every night. Government statistics show there's a rise in wood heat driven by fuel costs, the economic downturn and the movement to use renewable energy. Consumer advocates, as well as the USDA, are giving solid advice on buying firewood. First, make sure it's properly dried. There is no golden rule. Some companies say 20% or less. You really can't get it much less than 15%. Even the rafters in your roof of your house will have 15% moisture content, even if they're 100 years old. So say 20% as a general rule or less is the moisture content you want. Again, the oaks, your ash, hickory, the higher BTU rating woods are going to burn the longest. Robert Schultz has made firewood his business for 37 years, even creating his own patented way of drying and packing hardwood here at JerseyFirewood.com. You want to make sure your wood is dry. You don't want any moisture in your firewood beyond what the relative humidity keeps in the wood naturally. Uh, a moist firewood will lead to an incomplete burn and uh, build up creosote in your fireplace, which is a fire hazard. Now that wood ranks third in the nation as the most common heating fuels after gas and electricity, experts say make sure you know the price and the cost of a cord of wood. The word cord is a little misused nowadays, so we go to great lengths to ensure you get proper cordage. Uh, and remember, there should be 128 cubic feet of wood in each cord. That means stacked together tightly. Bad bugs hiding in firewood that's not properly heated have recently captured headlines because they're destroying trees. They sparked laws in many states like New Jersey to create border control when it comes to bringing firewood across state lines. Try to buy as local as you can. You don't want to buy too far in a, of, a, of, a, of a wood. Buying local from a trusted firewood dealer who has heated those hardwoods properly to dry the wood and kill any unwanted pests is your best bet to make sure the hardwood in your fireplace is the only thing getting burned this winter. Before you start your first fire of the season, experts recommend you get a safety check of your entire fireplace system. You want to always make sure the flue is open and every year you want to get a chimney sweep to make sure that there's no creosote or critters up in your chimney. Other than that, enjoy and keep warm. Reporting for another thing, I'm Dawn Stenslamenti. Up next, Larry's commentary.